Howdy, we'll try and get through three today. We will. A local one to me, a local and super old one, and a stateside one as well. Start here. They draw it. And people have probably seen that same cab on a crane that would be similar to that called a Badger. I don't know what the crossover is, but a Badger and a Draught got the same looking cabs. That's a smart looking D7. Good undercarriage on it. Laterno. That was long before Caterpillar got into pavers. And the original Volvo Wiggle Wagons. They had so much snow on them. It's horrible how far it stuck out. Drop made, they did the 50, the 40, and I'm pretty sure there was a 35. And they all had the tilters. I think they did. They all had the tilters on them. It's way ahead of their time. It's the 880, that would have the tilter on it. P and H. And JSW. I don't know if these were big in the States, but around here, right up through the 80s, these were super, super common. Japan Steelworks. Oh, and they got absorbed by somebody. I don't know if it was Hyundai. One of the well-known brands absorbed them up. So they don't have the dates on these ones. I'm going to guess it's early, early 70s, maybe late 60s. But we'll see if there's... Uh, they don't put the years in. Yeah, this could be 60s. Bulldozer on the world then. It's the newest equipment, 67, 7, 71 is the newest piece in here. Truck mounted log loader. MJ Reed Company. It's just memories now, 50 years later. Only a couple pages. The Deer 440, those were all gear jammers. They all had the clutch. Well, even the 540, they were direct drive with the power shift. I th Some of these 440s were just straight gear jammers. And our American one, Tacoma. Sharp looking grader. That's pretty. The 215. We thought the 215 was in a little bit different class. I don't know if they were made. I'm just guessing now. I thought they were made in Belgium or they had European roots, the 215. It was a little bit different animal. And they weren't that amazing. They had issues. It was either tracks or swings, swing drives. It's 
See the American cats, they don't do all the, the brush guarding on the sides as much as up here as we do or did. On the other observation state side is your the wheel loaders, even just across the line here. I'm like half an hour from the border. But their backhoes, the minute you go across to even Washington, there'll be backhoes all over with no glass cabs, air conditioning in them. We, we can't even comprehend that here. There just there wouldn't be a backhoe or a loader up here without full glass pressurized cabs. That's neat. As before, it was glorious to be an equipment operator. You were just a ditch digger back then. Today, I think there's a lot more status comes with it. The young guy's a whole operator now, and he's somebody. The Rago, they, the Rago Rascal. They had the Rago Rascal, the Rago Romper. They had all the funny names for those green ones. They all had Detroits in them. I think there was a Rago Rustler. Of course, I learned a lot of what I learned being a kid, reading this stuff. Taking it to school or in band class, having these things sitting on my music, playing the alto saxophone and reading about heavy equipment here instead of watching, reading the music notes. Got in trouble a few times, got my equipment magazines and brochures took away from the band teacher. But learned a lot. All right, hope you enjoyed. I got a stack of these a foot high, so I don't see this ending anytime soon.